welcome back to my channel so today I will be teaching you on how to compute an overtime pay before I uh, discuss from my previous video how to uh, uh, compute an overtime pay on the special public holiday but today I will be teaching you how are you going to compute an overtime pay during a regular holiday Ano po ba yung mga regular holiday? Ito po yung Christmas Day, ito po yung mga All Saints Day, Labor Day, and so on, or etc. So, if you are interested, and uh, please keep watching until the end of this video. Overtime work on a regular holiday. So, just now, I have mentioned ano-ano ang mga regular holiday. When you are working at during Christmas Day, pumasok ka. During Labor Day, pumasok ka sa trabaho mo. Okay, so paano po i-compute yun? Overtime work on a regular holiday for the first 8 hours. So like for example, sa araw ng December 25, pumasok ka. Uh, mostly, ito po yung mga call center agents. Sila po pumapasok ng December 25 because I had experienced before that uh, December 24, evening, huh? December 24th evening, I was working in the, the call center. So, I was not with my family. So, ito po yung, yung sinweldo ko. Okay? Now, so, uh, for the first 8 hours, the overtime pay is equal to 200% times hourly rate times number of or overtime hours work. Let's say I am using a Manila rate here. Here in the Philippines only. Okay? So, 537 in one day for the first 8 hours should be used labor code na all employees are allowed to work for 8 hours only, excluding the lunch break. So, paano po ko compute yun? Since if you are receiving 537 a day, divided by 8, that is equal to 67.125. That is your hourly rate. Kapag nagtrabaho ka for the first 8 hours during the regular holiday, the formula is 200%. When you are changing percent to decimal, you have to move two places to the left, guys. So 1, 2, so that is equal to 2 times your hourly rate, which is 6. 67.125 times 8 hours. Then if you will multiply all of this, that will give you 1,074. Ito po yung ninyo. From uh, first 8 hours. Okay, like for example, nag-overtime ka. After 8 hours of working, excluding your lunch break, nag-render ka ng overtime. So, paano po yun? In excess of 8 hours, the formula is overtime pay that is equal to 260% times hourly rate times number of overtime hours work. And if you are changing percent to decimal, move two places to the left, one, two, so that will give you 2.60 times your hourly rate, 67.125. Eh, halimbawa, nag-overtime ka beyond eight hours, nag-overtime ka ulit ng tatlong oras. So, you will multiply that three so, lahat-lahat ito, pag minultiplying mo, you will give the product of 523.575. Ibig sabihin, sa tatlong oras na sweldo, na uh, oras sa pagtatrabaho, beyond 8 hours, you will receive 523.575. So, we, when we're going to total all of your salary on that day, nagtrabaho ka on a regular holiday, then it will give you, ito yung sa first 8 hours, that is 1,074. Pagkatapos doon in excess of 3 hours, and then that is 523.75, and the total is 1,597.575. So that will be your salary in one day. Okay, so uh, I hope you understand. So I will give you an example number two. Okay, so for example, number two. Halimbawa, during a regular holiday, na fall na rest day mo. Okay, so like, like for example, December 25, nag-fall siya ng rest day no from Monday up to uh, 
a Saturday, mm-hmm. you are working. And ang day off mo po dyan mm-hmm. ay Saturday. And na full po ang regular holiday ng rest day mo. At saka pumasok po kayo. So what will be your overtime pay? Overtime on a regular holiday falling on the employee's rest day. So the first for the first eight hours, overtime pay that the formula is 260% times hourly rate times number of overtime hours work. And since I am using a Manila rate just now, that your hourly rate is 67.125. So change 260% to decimal, so 1, 2, then will give you 2.60 times 67.125 times 8 hours. So for the first 8 hours, excluding the lunch break, so you will be receiving 1,396.20. Pero tapos nun, kapag after ng 8 to 5, excluding your lunch break, nagtrabaho ka. Nagdagdag ka ng 3 hours. Okay? Nag-overtime ka ng 3 hours. Masipag ka kunwari. So, that is equal to overtime pay. That is equal to 338% times hourly rate times number of overtime hours work. So, change 338% to decimal. So, magiging 1, 2, magiging 3.38 times 67.125 times 3. So, if you will multiply these 3 guys, it will give you 680.6475. Yun po in excess of 8 hours. So, ang total mo ang dalawa, nagtrabaho ka for the first 8 hours, you will receive 1,396.20. Tapos nun, nag- Overtime ka ng tatlong oras, then you will give 680.6475. Ito total mo po lahat yon, magiging 2,076.8475 your salary on that day. So kaya pag mga regular holiday, you will receive a lot, right? So that is the uh, correct computation and that is according to labor code here in the Philippines. So I hope guys that you learned something today and uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and hit the notification bell so that you will be updated for whatever videos I'm going to upload. Have a great day everyone!